Hello, I have been insanely busy the past while now because my husband and I just bought a house and we just moved. So now I have my own studio space. My husband said I can do whatever the heck I want with this room. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's gonna be a really good time. So I thought I would just talk through kind of what we're doing here about this room and show you guys a little bit of the background because you guys get to see it in every single video. So why not show my process of how I'm going through this? So this room is full of all my stuff right now, blah, 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 Calyx in the closet. We love a good crafting closet. And yeah, just everything's in here. So the first couple of steps is I'm gonna clear this out and then get it ready to paint. So just for some reference on painting, I want this to be a dark green Victorian Hogwarts science lab vintage madness. So green is in the big color picture. Um, I got these two greens. I'll be real with you. I can't tell the difference between the two of them that well, but I like this one, I think slightly more. So that's just the darker body. So we just went and got a gallon of this color paint and I'm gonna paint this room, but first I gotta dispose of everything else. But I'm excited to get started. Let's do this thing. Hello. <laughs> the room is green. We painted it, finished painting it yesterday with the help of some of our friends. And now I get to go back in and touch up a few spots, but I am loving this green color. I hope you guys too. I guess it doesn't fully matter because it's my room, but <laughs> you'll still be seeing a lot of it. So the room is now green. I'm so excited. I love it. And I love the fact there's still like the wood trim in this room. The previous homeowners did a lot of like random renovations to this place. Um, which included painting all of the trim white, but for whatever reason, they left this room alone and gosh, tape everywhere. I'm so glad that they did because I think it goes great with this style. So the next project I have is taking this giant red thing, which is some shelves and cabinets. Shelves. And I'm gonna take it apart and I'm gonna paint it green too. So for this, I just went at it with a screwdriver and took all the doors off, then I took all of the knobs out, and I took all of the cabinets out as well. Then I sanded it to kind of provide it a rougher surface because it was a very glossy finish. And then I just started painting it green using the sample paint of the other color that I had purchased from Home Depot because that's what I had around and just thought it was a great idea. I used a little miniature paint roller to cover it, which worked out pretty well. And then the paintbrush to kind of get into those nooks and crannies, which was a little bit frustrating, but overall turned out pretty good and was fairly easy. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I am about my appearance. I am absolutely exhausted from doing all of this stuff, but there is progress made. All of the walls are still green. We have built some lovely IKEA furniture. This is two out of the three bookshelves that are gonna go in that corner. I am not an expert at building IKEA Billy bookshelves, but don't ever ask me to build one again because I don't want to. And then this red thing cabinet that I'm going to use has been all painted green and I'm ready to put it back together again. So let's start on that. All I did to put this back together was the reverse of what I did to take it apart. I don't consider myself mechanically inclined, but I do love a good screwdriver. <laughs> Hello, so you may notice there is now furniture around me. We put furniture back in this room because it's done being painted and the cabinet is very green. And I even found my microphone, which is great because I literally can't find anything in this house anymore and it was, is starting to really get to me, but it's all good. We're good. <laughs> We're working along. So I'm actually really excited about how this green cabinet turned out because it also just happens to match one of my vintage singers perfectly. So this is Audrey for all of you guys who haven't met Audrey yet. And it just matches absolutely insanely perfectly. That kind of cracks me up because this is the same color as my knitting machine I have, my flatbed knitting machine that some of you guys have noticed in the background of a couple of my shots from my previous living situation. 
And so I just think I happen to gravitate towards all things this kind of green minty color. I think that's hilarious. I have ordered some decorative electrical outlet covers today and a new lamp for this room because I don't have my studio light up yet because I don't know where it is. <laughs> I haven't found it yet. But even with that, this room is still pretty dark for just casually working in and I needed another light. So we're excited. We have furniture in here. We have all of my Halloween sewing machine decorations, which make me really happy too. The all three Ikea bookshelves have been mostly built. They just need to be tacked or bracketed onto the wall, which I am not handy enough to do by myself. I also went ahead and, ooh, brightness, ah, back to the dark. Bought a curtain rod to go up as well for my lovely, lovely curtains. I don't know if I've shown you this yet, but I'm going to now that I got from Ikea, even though these are not actually curtains, they are in fact a duvet cover, but I'm gonna turn them into curtains because I loved this pattern so much. And my husband convinced me, hey, just take him the duvet cover and, is it a cobweb? Anyhow, take the duvet cover, turn it into curtains. So today's agenda is figure out where I want all of the smaller decorations to go and stuff like, my thread spool holders and my pegboards and other wall hangings to go because I can't yet stack books on my bookshelf and I can't yet really fully completely set up in here because I need help from somebody who's way more handy than I am. I'm just really good at taking stuff apart with a screwdriver. That's about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna work on that list today and get kind of an idea of all the other stuff we're gonna need in here to really make it an awesome space. I'm so excited about it. So I'll take you through what I'm planning to do for each wall. Let's get started. All right, let's get started with this wall right here. So I have my sewing machines and I'm thinking about making this like a botanically themed wall. So I wanna put in some vining plants hanging on the wall and some of my botanical prints. Bookshelves, obviously gonna store the books. I have a lot of science and Harry Potter books that are all gonna go there. I mix with some of my other bookshelf knickknacks because who doesn't love a good bookshelf knickknack and then i'm thinking potentially this one right above my treadle machine is going to turn into kind of my other sciencey wall so like science pictures my other periodic table and then the grand periodic table has got to go on this wall above my modern day sewing machine and then this wall is going to be i think just a harry potter portrait wall is kind of the working plan for right now now that that's all figured out let's make some curtains all I did was cut the duvet cover literally in half, sew up the raw edge, and then fold over the top to make the part where it just hangs from the curtain rod. This was a really easy project and I loved the end result as you can probably see. Welcome back to this disaster area tornado, but guess what made it onto the walls and attached and it's never going to be moved again and it took way longer than it should have, but the bookshelves have been built, put on the walls, shelves have been put in, and I'm starting to put my books into place, which means that the next step is to finish putting my books into place and grabbing all of those bins out of the garage. And I would never actually say this, but I may own too many Harry Potter books. But you didn't hear that from me. So I'm gonna get to stacking stuff on the bookcase and Okay, I'll get to stacking stuff on the bookcase and then the next step will be hanging everything on the wall. And then I think this room is ready for all of you guys to see it in its Hogwarts Science Lab, Dark Academia, whatever glory. We are heading towards the home stretch of this project. Just gotta stack some books, hang some more stuff up on the walls, and I'll see you in the review.
what do you think about my new space? I personally love it. I think it turned out so cute and everybody who has come in here to visit is like, this room has a vibe. This room has a definite vibe. And even if it's not my personal aesthetic, I still love it. So I am super pleased with how it turned out. I have already sewn a bit in here and it just is so exciting to look up for my sewing and see so much aesthetic things around me. This is the first room I've ever gotten to like fully decorate and probably the hardest I've ever gone on decorating something. Like I even switched out the outlet covers. This is a lot of work to do as well. I think literally everything we had to hang up on the wall took way longer than we expected. Hanging up the VR cable, this glorious thing, was a bigger task than I remembered it being. And I'm never planning on moving it ever again. In addition, these bookcases, kind of a pain in the butt to put in this corner. But we managed to make it work and it's all done. So yeah, I had a lot of fun making this. I can't wait to continue to film videos in here. Kind of the goal of this room was to make me be able to have more angles that I could shoot videos from. Because in my previous space, there was really kind of only one good angle or else you would have like seen into our kitchen or seen my husband's workspace area, which was not ideal. So this is my own personal filming studio space that I get to inhabit and it makes me so happy and I hope you guys like it too. It is the one wall that hasn't quite been finished yet because apparently I was not allowed to use the entire household budget, renovation budget on this room alone which I think is lame, but whatever. So that wall, I'm eventually gonna put some just single like, I guess free floating shelves up. And it's going to be another Harry Potter wall with all my Harry Potter art and like my wand boxes and stuff like that. Stuff that did not fit on the bookshelf. And even some of the stuff that's currently on the bookshelf is gonna go over there just because I need space for more books because more books is always the correct option. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video that is not very sciencey related, but it's related to the making of science in this room and enjoyed getting to see the space transformed because you guys are going to have to watch a bunch of videos made in this space. So I love the way this room turned out. I hope you guys did as well. Thank you all so much for watching this channel. I hit like very quickly, like 800, 900, 1000 subscribers and I'm almost up to 1500 might fit 1500 by the time this video publishes who the heck knows so i'm so grateful for everybody who has found my channel has liked my channel is watching my channel it means a lot to me so thank you again please continue to check out it's still october it's still spooky season continue to check out my daily halloween science experiments that i've been doing they're super fun pretty easy science experiments that you can do with most things you can find in the house and if you can't find them in your house you can find them at walmart or i bought my dry ice from kroger in case anybody's wondering please continue watching my channel tell all your friends about it i love all of you guys and keep it sciencey